everyone, I'm Michelle, and welcome to our channel, Raising a Disney Princess. I was recently asked by a wonderful guy, Jamie, from Jamie's Disney Kingdom. I'll be sure and put his link in the description below. But he invited me to um, join him in partaking in a bunch of collabs during the month of October in order to showcase our different Halloween and villain themed collections. Um, he's doing one every month, every weekend of the month, um, and I am going to be in a handful of them. Um, not all of them, but a handful of them. And today's theme is Halloween pins. I thought that this is, I mean, this is a great idea. I just show you what I have and I don't have to buy anything. My husband thought this was an excellent idea. Well done, Jamie. So anyhow, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you some of our Halloween pins. Okay, recently I did a Small Shop Saturday um, video. Um, if I remember, I will link that below so you can check that out if you haven't already. But I got three Halloween pins. Well, four actually, because one of them's a set. But, or two of them are part of the set. Is that how you say that? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so I, um, yeah, I'm going to show you those again real quick. I got Jessica Rabbit dressed up as Maleficent, Tinkerbell as a witch, and Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas dressed up in cast member Haunted Mansion costumes. There they are. You see them? There's Tinkerbell, Jessica, and Jack and Sally. So pretty. Um, those are fantasy pins that I have recently bought on Etsy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Getting a little tongue twice tongue tied <laughs> I swear I'm not drunk I promise okay let's see um, my favorite attraction for Halloween is the Haunted Mansion it's not my favorite attraction of all times that would be Thunder Mountain Railroad but I love the Haunted Mansion I'm actually kind of bummed well that's not true okay I like the crossover I like the Nightmare Before Christmas crossover thing but it's the Haunted Mansion. It'd be fun to do the Haunted Mansion at Halloween as the Haunted Mansion because it's the Haunted Mansion. So I have I have a couple other Haunted Mansion pins, but I have no idea where they are. So <laughs> things end up in a relocation program here. And this, this is a real struggle. Adrienne has clinical OCD. Things need to be in the place that she decides they need to be in. She will relocate something and I will never see it again. Mm -hmm. And a handful of my pins are in that program. But here are two Haunted Mansion pins that I have that I was able to find. There's this one here with a ghost on there, skeleton. And then this one I just recently got and I, I think I got it at Hot Topic or Box Launch or something like that I think. I don't know. I think so. It may be. It may have even been Shop Disney. Maybe. I don't know. If you know, correct me. Put it in the comments. But yes, it says make your final arrangements. We've been dying to have you. I love it. And it has. Uh, let's see. Wake the dead. <laughs> and it has Madame Leota on it. Okay. There's those two love those <clears throat> man they get stuck in here really well okay now how does it go okay even though sorry <laughs> even though I don't love Nightmare Before Christmas I do love Jack and Sally I'm sure if you guys follow us you've heard me say that many times before but I do I really like Jack and Sally it they kind of represent till death do you part kind of thing. That's I know it's I know it's fishing, but that's just how I see it. But anyhow, I have two fig pins that are Jack and Sally, and I absolutely love them. And you can't have you can't have Halloween without Jack and Sally. I mean, they are Halloween, right? And I love fig pins. Fig pins are so well done. The colors are wonderful. The quality of the pin is amazing. And they're only 14 bucks, regular price. I mean, sometimes, yes, I know they can be more. But a lot of places have them on sale. Watch for the sales and you can grab them. And, I mean, shoot, Disney charges you 
more than 15 bucks for some of their pins. But anyhow, yeah, they're great. They're wonderful pins. And they're they're huge. They're you stick this one on here. Show you. They are big ones. There you go. But they're super cute. I love them. Especially since it's Jack and Sally. And speaking of Jack and Sally, I saw this pin um, years ago actually at Hot Topic. And I picked it up because again it's Jack and Sally. But check it out. How cute is it? And it's one of those lenticulars. I don't know. I can't see it. I don't know if it's working or not. But it's so cute. And I love the little haunted heart there. Keeping with the themes of Jack and Sally. I've got one more. And I just recently got this one. I wish that you could see. It's kind of like a stained glass kind of situation going on. I don't know if you can see that or not through that but it's so pretty I love the little pumpkin and everything on the bottom it's just a pretty pin there you go how cute is that I love it okay that's my nightmare before Christmas stuff that's all done okay let's see um how many of you know my best friend ginger from just ginger okay her and I collect Minnie and Daisy pins. Everyone says I'm sweet like Minnie and she's a little sassafras like Daisy. So we both collect a lot of Minnie and Daisy pins and I can't get the back off this one. But um, this is one of my Minnie and Daisy collection but it's a Halloween one. And it is from Hong Kong Disneyland. There you go. Aren't they pretty? So cute. Look at Minnie. I love her little creepy gown there. So cute. And I have this one. Ginger does it. <laughs> okay. Adrian's one of her favorite cartoons. And I gotta tell you one of mine too. You know, an old classic Disney cartoon is um, Trick or Treat with Witch Hazel. The Chip, uh, with that Chip and Dale. Where'd that come from? With Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Oh my gosh, I love it. And we got this pen when we went to one of the Halloween parties in 2011. It's so neat because I've seen stuff from them again now, even a lounge fly backpack, which I'm haven't got, haven't ordered, but I'm thinking. Hmm. Anyway, here's this one from 2011. And this is from one of the um, Halloween parties that we did. This is when it was still over at, I believe 2011, it was still, yeah, it was at Disneyland. I think. Oh my gosh, we've been to so many and 2011 was forever ago. So I don't know. Um, another Halloween pin that we picked up just in one of our travels, I can't remember what year. It was so long ago, I think it was when our kids were little, but you all know me and Mickey and Minnie, and here they are with the pumpkin. I've even seen one like this, similar to this, that's come out recently, but yeah, it's Minnie is the witch and um, Mickey is the vampire, and they're kind of like sticking out of a jack-o'-lantern. They're so cute. Okay, there's that one. And then, um, Adrian's gotten into the pin trays. She's having like a good time doing the pin trays. It's so cute. When someone wants one of our pins that they need, but they don't have something that we need, I, I show Adrian their traders and I let her pick whatever she wants. And she saw this one and it was so cute and perfect. If y'all know Adrian and you know Halloween, you know her favorite candy is candy corn. Oh my gosh. I mean to the point where she will like eat a package and get herself sick. I mean, I could eat five and then I'm done for the rest of the year. I mean, it's good, but I can't, oh God, it's just too sweet. But we have to ration it, Raider. We have to hide it. it. Has to be in very, very small portions. Yeah, sometimes it just takes all year long just to eat the one back because that's how we have to do it. But anyhow, she found this candy corn castle bin and it was so cute. And perfect timing so that we can do the Halloween uh, pin show here. Isn't it cute? Yeah, so that's it. 
that's all I was able to find. We have so many more pins, but I don't know where they all are. You know what? I don't even really think that we had that many more Halloweens. I know that we have some from the different Halloween parties that we've gone to, and those are put up somewhere in uh, Chris's closet. But yeah, not going to go through everything just to find them. In the meantime, I figured that this would probably be enough, right? Right. Okay, so that's our Halloween collection. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see joining us. <laughs> I will be on here um, a couple more times for different collabs. Um, go watch them. I will put everyone that is involved in the collab in the description below along with Jamie. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what everybody shows. In the meantime, have a wonderful afternoon. And as Adrian would say, remember, be yourself. Bye.